And member class, at any point, if you cannot see the screen, you have to let me know. Okay. Is everything clear? Yes. All right. So good morning, boys and girls. I am Gordon. And today we're going to be doing our reading lesson. And the reading strategy of today is retelling. So before we start, everybody pull out a piece of paper. You're going to put your name, your date, and then you're going to write notes at the top. And as I'm going along this PowerPoint, we're going to take notes. Okay. So before we start retelling, can anybody tell me what you think retelling may mean in a story? Um, I think it means like, okay, so I'm going to put it like this. So I think like when on in a story, when you retelling your, hold on, can I think about it? All right, yes, you can. You can also drop it in the chat. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, so I thought about it. Retelling is when you write it or tell it or present it again. Okay. So, good. I'm going to tell you what retelling is, and let's see if you were right. All right. So, retelling in a, in a story, it is a short, consistent way that students are able to recall, to order, or to summarize a text of what they have read. So you're also telling the story in your own words. You can do this by post-reading or post-listening recall in which the readers and listeners, they tell what they remember either orally, written out, or through picture illustrations. Those are all different ways you can retell a story. When you're retelling, you're also able to identify the main characters, the setting, the problem and also the solution within the text. And you have to ask yourself, are you able to tell the story in order? And if you are, that's really good. And that means you're actually able to retell the story. So questions that I may ask you or that you can ask yourself to retell a text are, what happened in the beginning, the middle and the end of a story? Remember, yeah, take notes because I'm, I'm gonna ask you some questions at the end. Um, these are all questions that are important to ask when retelling the text. So who are the characters in the story? Was there a problem? And if there was a problem, what was the solution to that problem? When, and also where does the story take place? These are all very important questions to ask yourself when retelling the text. To the left, you can see, I found this image online and it states that I can retell using, and this is actually the first method. This is the beginning, the middle, and the end. What do you notice in that picture, Tamara? Uh, the bird is flying. So it, in the beginning, it, what does it look like? It's kind of like free, right? Yeah. So this is a method that you can tell through pictures, and it's the beginning, middle, and the end of the story. So what's the purpose of retelling? Of course, everything has to have a purpose to it. So the purpose of retelling is, it is a reading strategy that is used to determine how well a student comprehends a specific story. It can be used as an effective tool in improving comprehension, as well as I can use retelling to assess you. And if you're not able to recall a story, nine times out of 10, that means you most likely did not understand what you read. Because if you cannot retell what happened in that story, then it kind of means that you did not comprehend it. So that if you don't comprehend it, what do you think you might need to do, Tamara? If you don't get it, yep, you might need to reread the story. Okay, so this is an anchor chart. And the anchor chart says retelling. Retelling is when a teacher tells a story he or she has read in his or her own words, and it's also, it provides an opportunity for readers to process what they've read. And when you retell, you need these five elements. This is called the retelling hand. So you have your characters, we have our setting, we have our problem, 
the events, and the solution. So these are all important key elements whenever you are able to retell a story. Knowing these five things are very, very important. So we're getting ready to do a little activity. So what we're going to do is, I'm pretty sure, remember when we read The Little Red Riding Hood? So now what we want to do is, I want you to use your five fingers. So you're going to need to write down the five finger retelling hand on your piece of paper. And I'm going to give you about one to two minutes. So and you can actually, if you still have your notes from last week, or if you want to phone a friend, you can do that. You're going to need to write down the characters and you can draw pictures. The characters, you can draw the picture. The setting, you can draw the picture. And for the beginning, the middle, and end, you can also draw a picture or you can choose to do actually a small summary of what the beginning, middle, and end was. So I'm going to give you about two to three minutes. I'm going to give you into 926 and then we're going to come back together. So you can turn off your cameras because I want you to get this right okay. and actually have time to work on it. Is everybody clear of what we're doing? Uh, turn off my camera. Um, you have to click on, it should be in the left corner. Like you should say mute audio and then also audio. Yeah. Turn it off for you. Yeah. I'll turn it off for you. So remember, yeah. write down your five finger hand and you're going to write the character setting, beginning, middle, and end. And I'll keep it up for you. And then you're going to draw pictures for all five. And then for the beginning, middle, and end, kind of write a few sentences to summarize what happened in the Little Red Riding Hood. So I'm going to give you up to 927. And once you're ready, turn your cameras back on. You can't turn the message because you did them all for me. <laughs> it says, you cannot stop that video because the host has disabled it. Okay. And this is how your page should look like this. So remember, I'm um, drawing a picture for each of these for the Little Red Riding Hood. You need to be looking back over notes or you can phone a friend. You need to be writing down the characters that were in the book. Where did it take place? What happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end? And you have three minutes to do this. Right. So when you're ready, when you're ready, put a thumbs up. You should see the reactions. Your screen should say reactions, and you'll put a thumb up. It's right, you should be on your Zoom. Reactions. So put your thumbs up. All right, so you ready? Yeah. All right, so can you share to me what you have on your paper so I can see it? Mm -hmm. Describe to me what you have written down. Okay, so like for the book Red Riding Hood. Yep, the Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, so in the character box, I got the Big Bad Wolf, the Grandma, the Red Riding Hood. For the setting, I got the Grandma House, and then hello. I I'm right, to... right? Yeah, you are. Not a bit bad wolf. <laughs> All right, now this <laughs> the setting. I got the grandma house, and then I got uh outside in the woods. But also, remember you said outside where? In the woods. Okay, yep, in the woods. Yep. So what what happened in the beginning of that story? I think some uh food. I think some apples. I don't know. She was something in the food category. She went to go do that, and then she was on her way back, and then that's when she met the big that the wolf. So is that kind of like in the middle? Is when she met the wolf? Yeah. Okay. And what kind of took place right then and there when she met the wolf? She was in the wolf. She was in the wolf. <laughs> yeah, she was in the wolf. What happened in the end? So the wolf uh, tried to chase her on home, and then I guess she got tired. <laughs> okay, we might need to revisit <laughs> the little red riding hood a little bit, class. All right, but that was actually very good. So that's actually telling me that you are able to retell a story. So that was a great activity. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. Okay. 
So the standards that we use today were the ELA Literacy 1.2, in which you were able to retell stories, including key details, and also demonstrate your understanding of the central message or lesson. And you also describe the characters, the settings, and major events in the story, which were the beginning, middle, and end. And you use key details. So through this activity, we're learning to use the strategy of retelling with the book Little Red Riding Hood. And you were able to demonstrate your understanding by doing the retelling hand and placing the strips in order and having your pictures of the story and um, you were using your knowledge of character setting and the knowledge and the beginning, middle, and end events. These are the references, and this is the end of our lesson class. So remember in the beginning, I said to take notes. So Mary, what was our reading strategy today? Our reading strategy was uh, to read it, write it, and re-say it. But what was it, what, and what was that called? It was a, you said what? Yep, retelling a story. So what are some um, key points that you should do in retelling? Or so like, what is retelling? Um, so what are some questions you can ask? What are some notes that you took? Yeah, I took, oh, I gotta go to it. What's the purpose of retelling? All right, okay. what's the purpose? Like, why is that important for you to be able to retell a story? So you can how to like remember what you read in the story because if, if i read a story to you and you can't really tell me the character setting or what took place what is that telling me that you didn't what you didn't really, 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 really comprehend what was said all right great job so we are done with our retelling lesson and i hope you learned something and hope you remember how to retell a story i look forward to seeing you all again next week okay bye bye class all right, bye. Hi.